video, I'll discuss integration between NeoVim and Zathura, which is the PDF viewer, which I'm using, as well as COC, which is language server protocol plugin that I have, which provides a number of nice features, um, including a lookup database for, my, for Zotero, which is my reference management software for adding citations to LaTeX documents. So to begin with, let's open up NeoVim and go into three, this project here. Um, okay, and so to build this PDF, um, I could do space and then I have it under B for build and it will bring up Zathura and it's, yeah, very responsive, uh, really fast, lightweight PDF viewer and highly customizable, so quite, quite nice. Um, and right now, given that the compiler is on, if I make any changes to this document, say I add, so this is another line, okay, back in normal mode. As soon as I save this document, so space and then W for write, then it will add that line. And it's extremely fast, um, which is very nice. Um, and yeah, there's a few nice, so just as, just as we're used to navigating inside Vim with uh, J and K to go, up and down and say L to go to the right and H to go to the left and so on, or um, control D for half page down and control U for half page up and so on. Um, all the same commands hold for Zathura. So I can do um, control U to go half page up, control D to go half page down, um, or K and J to go up and down. Um, it's also useful sometimes to do control I. So this is an index. Um, and then I can hop around, say, to whatever different parts of the document. Um, and then I can do control O, control O to go to the older positions. Um, so that's, that's nice. Um, and then similarly inside, um, inside Vim, I have it under space I for index and um, can jump in here and whatever, jump to different points in my document. Um, so yeah, that's nice. If, a, another nice thing to see is if I want to find, um, so let's, let's say this, um, if I want to, if I want to go back to this position and I don't want to have to navigate inside Vim to do so, and you know, I happen to be reading over here, I can do control click and it will highlight the line, um, inside Vim. And similarly, if say I go, say I go a fair amount, um, oops, let's go back over here. Say if I go a fair amount up, um, to say one of these lines and I want to see where inside the PDF, say this line is, I can do space P for preview, and it will highlight that sentence um, over here. And if I do escape, then it will get rid of that highlighting, um, and then control O, control O, yeah, it takes me back to where I was, um, and command click, and I can hop right back over to where I was. So, so these are sort of nicely synchronized with each other. Um, I consider that to be kind of a bare minimum for any PDF viewer for LaTeX, but, uh, but nevertheless nice to see that, that it can be reproduced inside Vim. Um, one other nice feature, which I've not fully customized yet inside Zathura is um, hitting B goes into black mode. And you can see in contrast to the black that I have over on the right side, this is pretty high contrast. Um, so I, I do want to soften these colors a little bit, but it can be nice for writing um, in at night or yeah, in a dark, in a dark setting. Um, so yeah, there's, and there's lots more you can customize. Uh, yeah, make little different changes to Zathura. So, so yeah, so that is Zathura. Um, for for COC, let's hop back into Vim. Um, so, you've already seen. So let's say I add. So um, here is one more line. Okay. So you see this drop down menu that I have, and I can scroll to different things. Um, and this is sometimes helpful for, you know, especially writing long words. Say I want to write, I don't know, like uh, regimentation. Yeah, that, that's good. So, um, yeah, it can sometimes be convenient to select select words like that. Um, if it's ever distracting, I can turn it off with, it's under K for kill COC. So let's do that. Um, and then say, this is one more line. Um, so yeah, so it, you know, in case it's ever getting in the way. So even if I've turned it off, I can do, um, I can still use COC's um, English database. I can do control S 
and this will give me a whole bunch of different uh, words, which you know I can guess. And yeah, let's let's choose that one. Um, you know, I can or yeah, whatever, whatever it is. Um, okay, so th that's a little bit about uh, at least using COC for English, um, looking up English. Let's turn it back on though. So I'm going to hit R for restore. And uh, another useful thing COC is good for is citations. So say I want to do, um, so it knows all the different LaTeX commands, which I might use. So that's another sort of language server it's keyed into. Um, let's use this one. As soon as I do open brace, then what it looks into is my Zotero database. So say we go down to Lewis um, and select Lewis. So these are all of Lewis's papers. Um, yeah, so we just select that one. Uh, if I do comma, then I can select another author or paper and and so on. You can insert a whole slew of different citations. So, so let's build this. Um, okay, good. So it's looking, it looks up um, all the bib data and I can click this and then do control O to go back. So it, it writes, writes out the uh, citation there for me. Um, so yeah, it's it's doing what it should do. Um, one other nice thing to see, um, say there's a paper which I don't have yet. Um, and so let's go, so say this paper. So just to check that I don't have this. So this is by Florian Sh Shapiro. So, um, so yeah, let's, uh, well, we can check my Zotero database, why not? Um, so Shap actually, let's see what let's see what this is called. So set theory, type theory, and absolute general. Okay, set theory, um, type. Yeah, not in there. Um, or I can do Shap Shapiro. Um, okay, I don't have very much by Shapiro. Okay, so so I don't have this paper yet. Um, just to just to demonstrate that, but I can grab it by clicking. So this is a plugin. For my browser which connects to Zotero so let's click this and so it grabs the bib data and it will also try to download uh, the PDF and occasionally this will fail if you're not signed into the um, into the journal but in this case I am and so it downloaded the PDF no problem and here it is highlighted and just to check there's the PDF um, okay so sometimes I will go into Zotero and check that it's all there so we can see it says, here's the site key, uh, Florio 2014. Um, so that's one way to look up the paper and then add it to your, um, add it to your paper, add, add a citation. But you know, alternatively, you might just download the paper and then COC will live update. Uh, and so as soon as I do this, let's do, Flor yep, there's the paper. Um, and let's, oh, let's build this. And so it'll look up the bib data and um, and add it to my paper. So so there it is. So this is a very easy um, way to add citations, and it all live updates. So you can you can just go back and forth between your browser and and your document, adding whatever citations you need, um, passively building a, a database of all the different PDFs uh, which are associated with those papers. So so that's a very nice feature which um, COC accommodates. Um, one other thing to see that COC does, so we've already seen a little bit um, the way that it was able to know some of these site commands, um, but to see another example, say we do use package, um, and then I do open bracket. So now it's looking up all the different packages which um, LaTeX will recognize. So say we do, I don't know, graphics. Yeah, that's, that's one. Okay, so, um, Okay, so that's nice, um, sometimes convenient for, for finding different packages or environments or, you know, all the different commands inside, inside LaTeX. Um, okay, so in addition to English, an English database, uh, my Zotero database, a LaTeX database, there's also snippets. Um, so to get a sense of those, um, let's use this same use package one. So I'm going to do up. And so this little tilde here, and also an S and an S over here, this indicates that if I select this one, this is a snippet. And then it opens this second box and tells me what that snippet is going to do. So let's select that. So it'll 
ask for options. Um, I don't particularly have any options in mind. Um, and then I'm going to hit enter to go to the next, um, the next little thing. And then I can say, yeah, whatever it is, graphics. Um, notice that graphics came right to the top this time. Um, COC will organize things based on how used they've been. And the same is true of English. So, you know, there's certain words, you know, if I'm writing out, I don't know what it is. Uh, I just wrote out regimentation above. So if I write it out again, I mean, it's right at the top. Um, and so that's, that's very useful. Um, okay, one other example, let's do, um, let's do begin. So this is common for environments. So I'm gonna select begin. And just to get a little, let's say we do enumerate. So enumerate, and then I'm gonna, so, oops, sorry, let's select that. Okay, and if I hit enter, then it'll put me right in the right spot. Uh, and I can start adding whatever it is inside there. Um, however, say I change my mind, I wanna do um, itemize, I can hit tab and it will take me back and then I can say itemize and then go to there and enter. And then I can change my mind again and enumerate um, and, and so on. Um, so so that's, that's all very convenient. Um, and there's not just a set list of these, you can add uh, new snippets very easily. So. Um, to get some sense of that, let's do, uh, let's create a new window here and let's go to NeoVim. Let's open up config, so two. And then if I do control P and then search for tech dot uh, snippets, oops, tech dot, there it is, tech dot snippets. Okay, so here is that use package snippet um, and here's begin. And you know, it can, it shows you it's pretty simple syntax that is required here. So basically you have this little dollar sign, you have open brace, you, the number, the, so the order that it's gonna select in, and then some little uh, you know, indicator. So here we had options and package, here we had ENV for environment. Um, so I could change that to whatever I wanted. Um, and then notice the dollar sign one here, that, what that tells it to do is that when you type, whatever you type in here, it's gonna also print in here. Um, so you don't have to type it in twice, which is nice. And then when you hit enter, so you're finished with that field, it will take you to the next field. So two, which is right inside, um, inside the middle of these two. So, you know, you can customize these and write them for yourselves. There's also loads more on the internet, which you can add to this file. Um, so yeah, anyways, very easy, very easy to do. Um, so that gives you some sense of snippets. Um, let's go back to this. So those are the main uh, different features I wanted to talk about. Um, and uh, yeah, it makes, it makes for uh, especially citing things and inserting, you know, sometimes complicated custom environments, which, you know, you might develop over the years. Um, you can add all of those to your snippet database and uh, it makes writing just a lot a lot easier and a lot faster.